Hey guys, back with another video, and today we're going to be straight piping this garden tractor. It's a D Craftsman DLT 3000. I'm going to turn it into a racing mower, like in the previous videos with this thing. So we're going to grab the straight pipe, we're going to cut it off, and then run it right around here, under there, and then it's going to come out with the exhaust right here. So our exhaust for it. And then we got pipes for it and stuff. And yeah, I'll show you a video when it's running with the straight pipe on it and stuff. So right now we got the exhaust pipe pulled off. We got it created. We're gonna slap it all together and show you what it sounds like. Okay, well, this is a new day today because last night got too dark for us to show you anything. So this is the exhaust pipe. It might look like it's smoking a little bit because I just ran it to make sure it sounded good and stuff. So here's how we did it. We took the exhaust pipe right there. That pipe, it's real hot right now. That pipe right there, we cut that off, spun it around. The exhaust is right there. We're just leaving it out. And then the pipe runs in there, the big pipes. And it's got two fully functioning dual exhaust pipes. Right in front of the back tire, just how I like it, like it and how I want it. I made two mounts here for one bracket. And then there's another bracket right there. The thing's got holes right there because I'm pretty sure Craftsman used the same back rear end on when they made the automatic tractors. So... Then from the other updates, we got the Hearst handle, and then we showed you the exhaust in the other update. But like, this is it on it. So, yeah, this thing, so it gets a gas pedal on it, we pulley swap, but this thing's going to be the beast. Pretty loud. It's not too lean, so it doesn't pop and crackle, like, ones that are too short. Like, if, they're, if it was to, like, right there, it'd probably pop and crackle and, like, shoot flames and stuff, but, eh. You could always put like a little propane nozzle in there with like a valve and stuff and make it shoot flames if you really want to. And I got my spray paint, my matte bl satin black and clear coat. And then I got silver for the exhaust and the rims. And the battery is, I still need to get a new battery for it because the battery is too small to crank the engine over. So I have to manually crank this over until it hits the compression spot like that and then it'll crank so yeah it needs a new valve cover gasket too i don't know if you can see the drippy oil drips leaks a lot get a valve cover gasket put that on there now i'll put new oil in it and this thing will be a pretty good racing mower i might consider turning this to the mower dick thing and a handbrake not sure yet but I don't know leave me suggestions and st stuff I should do in the comments but I duct tape the seats and stuff and yeah it might need a new oil filter and a fuel filter but other than that it's pretty nice and then I might rewire the choke right into here because the chokes attached to the throttle and you don't want that because it'll like mess it up like when I'm hitting the gas full throttle on the tractor, things gonna bog out and eventually blow up if I keep the choke attached to the throttle. So, yeah, I'll show you what it sounds like. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but this is what it sounds like. That's what the thing sounds like with the new exhaust on it and stuff. 
I'll show you some of your videos of riding it and me being an idiot on it. And the ground vibrates when it's at an idle, which is pretty funny, but yeah. Well, yeah, this is what it looks like. The, both of the exhausts function. We know that for sure because when I started it, after I hadn't started it in like a couple weeks or so, it blew out black smoke out of both of them. So I know both of them work. Steam was coming out of both of them, so that's pretty good. Now, a good recommendation for a racing lawnmower would be a Craftsman DLT 3000. All the old Craftsmans with clutches are the best racing mower, like really good racing mowers. You just grind the box off the back here, put a new pulley on it on the back, and then you can just pulley swap, flop the one underneath there, wherever it is, and then flop them, and then the thing will go like 30. So yeah, I'll show you some clips of me riding it. Thanks for watching guys and subscribe and like the video and comment on what else I should do so you can stay tuned for upcoming videos and updates of this tractor. Check out our other updates on our channel, you know. Yeah, see you later.